Ian has just very helpfully helped me, uh, well he's watched me clean the sink, all the kitchen cupboards and everything else. So I think he deserves some treats. He was so fascinated by it. He watched every move. Oh, to a double. Very nice, Ian. A double. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, I want to give you the whole bag. Hello, everyone. I've got to tidy that orange fabric up. I was practicing, not practicing, but trying out some stitches on the sewing machine because I just tend to use straight stitch. Sometimes a bit of a zigzag. And obviously over the last couple of days I've been doing a wiggle stitch. But there's so many stitches on my sewing machine and I never use them. So I thought I'd try some on this fabric. And I just stuck it up there when I'd finished. Anyway, I've got about an hour till Peter comes a knocking. So I'm going to cut out the linings and stick the bits in these drawstring bags. And go from there really. Speaking of Peter, I had a question asking whether you might get to meet him or see him one day. Uh, I would say no to that. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to put him in that position. I wouldn't want to say he doesn't even know I do YouTube videos and I just don't think I think it'd be awkward for both of us if I was to ask him to be in a video, so I'm going to say no. Wouldn't it be funny if he's not real? <laughs> I keep talking about him and he's not real. He is real. He is real. But um, I remember my friend Nicola, she had this friend for ages called Graham. And she used to talk about him all the time. And I've known her since I was 16, and I've never met Graham, ever. And nor's my other friend, Melanie, who knows her as well. Uh, Melanie has now met Graham, and we used to say, who's Graham? Who, who is Graham? And he was real, but I just don't know how you could... I just don't know how I never met him, how we never crossed paths, but we didn't. But yeah, Graham was real. Melanie met him, I still haven't. So maybe they're both winding me up, I don't know. Right. I've got to get on because I want to get a bit of this done before he turns up. So I'll see you in a little while. I look tired today. I struggled to drop off again. I kept um, doing the thing where you read a sentence of your book, fall asleep, wake up, read it again, before you just give up. I did that for a long time last night in the end I gave up right <clears throat> oh lovely noise oh yes I'll see you in a little while yes I put Ian's bed from upstairs down in the hope that I could get rid of all these bloody boxes He's got in it. Oh, I'd love him just to... That bed over there, that's Lillian's winter bed. Just to settle down. I bet Pete will knock on the door now, disturb him and make him run away. I don't know why I'm talking like David Attenborough. There's only a cat in a bed. I've just got back. Success. Hooray! Good boy, Ian! Now I can get rid of the boxes. I will monitor it though, I won't get rid of them too quick. I'll give him a couple of days. I thought it was dark and the sun had gone in and the rain was coming back. But no, James is back from work. No, I'm not filming. Oh, it's black wind, everybody. I think it might be a confined space, not a confined space, uh, you know, sheltered, but it's not. Look at this lovely tree, James. Isn't that beautiful? That's pretty. Oh, it's blustery, isn't it? 
Woo! Woo! Why do people do that, James, when it's windy? Woo! <laughs> Look at this lovely, delicate blossom, everybody. <laughs> He's laughing at me over there. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I'd like to get married and put this all in my hair. Woo! Oh, I didn't think this route through. It's ever so windy. Come down the riverbank. There's no wind down here. She's waiting for me. We've been playing a game. Come on then. Come on. She's lovely. I only let her off the lever and James is with me. Go on. Go on. Good girl. She don't go too far, but... I don't like it when I'm by myself. Go on, Lillian. Oh, what a beautiful day, James. Isn't it lovely? Cool, he's just been moaning about natural habitat and just letting things grow. He's been moaning, saying this. James, what were you saying about that hedge grow a minute ago? Moaning about it, all the wild, lovely nature that's just been let to grow. Yeah, it's rubbish. He's horrible about nature. No, I like it, but he wants to sit in well, between a load of brambles. Well, when have you ever been on a picnic, anyway? Well, I would do. Oh, look, a bumblebee. They are. James wants to smash that down. No, Poor old thing. Oh, he's lovely. Look at his lovely wings. I'd really like that for my guinea pigs, but I'll leave him to it. <laughs> oh, good girl. I'm back from my walk, as you can see. Oh, I've just done something really embarrassing. So we we're walking back and um, there was a lady stood outside her house waving her whoever off on his journey and I thought it was someone I knew so I really waved at her didn't I James yeah and went sure did. hello she didn't know me did she Definitely not. that wasn't the lady I know it was just a a lady from down the road who I don't think I've ever seen before Have I just made a fool of myself, James? Yeah, embarrassing your family. Never mind. Well, I've got to take this coat off. I've got a bit more making to do, and then I'm done for the day. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I've got to put it all in my shop. Oh, Ian, look at his feet, James. I'll turn you around so you can see. Oh, oh Ian, you're in, you are immaculate today. Beautiful. I've been trying to take nice pictures to put on Instagram, but I couldn't. So I've emptied my dresser and filled it up with my bags. Look at these two. I'm going to write a story about you two. Oh dear me. What's happened to your skirt? You've got a bit of a thread. I'll have to sort that out for you. I just love these two. Look, look at her beauty spot under her eye. Isn't it lovely? Whilst I'm over in this area, somebody asked me about this dolly that sits on the radio and asked me to tell you something about it. Well, I nicked it from Lizzie. And that's it. It was in her bedroom and I liked it. So I nicked it. And here she is. Right, that'll do for today. I'm very, very tired. <clears throat> Everybody's gone out. I'm by myself. Johnny, Meg and Lizzie have gone to my mum's house. James has gone to the gym. So I'm going to read and knit until they get back. Lovely. Lovely. I need to cut my fringe again. My hair is going... S well, this bit doesn't seem to be growing, but this bit seems to be growing really quickly at the minute. <laughs> tired. 
I'm going to stop moaning about being tired. Right, let's think. What have I enjoyed today? I enjoyed the delicate blossom that I found. I thought that was very nice. I really enjoyed Lillian running down the riverbank. She's getting on now, so it's nice to see her still acting like a uh, dog that's got lots of energy. I like that. Of course I liked going out with Peter. That was brilliant. And um, I think I'm going to like this next bit as well. <laughs> right, I'm off. So I'll see you all tomorrow, I should think. But if I don't, then I'll see you again another day. Right, bye everybody. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Do you remember that? It was sooty. I love that programme. Me and Lizzie watched a bit of sooty the other day. It was brilliant. Well, I'm hurt. Right, I'm off. See ya.